The alternative certification program uh, that we have access to through our Career and Technical Education Department provides an opportunity for us as a district to bring in industry professionals that are subject matter experts into the classroom with these students. Uh, the beauty of that is there's a reality that when you're a teacher, and, and I love all teachers, teachers go through a process where they're in the classroom, um, they go to college, and then they go right into uh, teaching and growing our students, which is amazing and phenomenal. When you get into topics like construction, plumbing, electrical, auto mechanics, um, these things take a special skill set that really happen outside of a college environment. So the alternative certification program allows us to bring in folks from the industry, uh, those folks that are exceptional at what they do, they, they've been successful in their own industry, they've been successful in feeding their families with their tools, uh, with their skills, with their know-how. We put them into a classroom with students and just help them and give them the tools to impart that knowledge into those students. Now here's the crazy thing is that these guys are subject matter experts in their field, they have no idea how to be a teacher. And so that alternative certification process helps to fill their toolbox with the skills that they need for their new craft, which is teaching students. Through that process, we show them how to take that knowledge that they've gained, how to package it in such a way that these students can learn and understand and grow. Uh, and then we pop, put them in a classroom, we give them tons of support, uh, and we watch the magic happen as they transfer that knowledge that they've learned through years and years of industry experience into uh, these up and coming young workers. I'm used to doing everything out in the field teaching in the field and uh, just being confined in the classroom, is, is, it's a little different, it's a little different setting. Uh, it's been crazy. Uh, the boot camp was pretty wild, uh, we just got through with that. It was almost every day for about since June. Um, a lot of work going on, a lot of information coming and going and uh, a lot of paperwork. Meet a lot of, a lot of cool people, a lot of neat people. So I've always been interested in education, uh, but I never actually completed the teacher certification. I initially got my BA in Spanish and was thinking about being an elementary bilingual teacher. I never completed the certification and my master's in that program. Uh, I became a nurse and I had a friend who got a job here and she called me and she said, would you be interested in teaching pharmacy and pharmacology? And I said, yeah, that sounds interesting. So I called, I had an interview, and thankfully I was hired. So it kind of worked out. I had that desire when I was 20, and it kind of came back around, and I was given this opportunity, and I sure did take advantage of it. I firmly believe, and I know that there's an expense to it. Uh, I know that there's a time commitment. I know that there are a lot of things involved on the backside uh, when you're talking about alternative certification. Uh, but having seen many, many teachers, uh, some that have gone through alt -Cert and some that have not, uh, teachers are way more successful uh, when they've been given those tools and they've been given those skills. When somebody's invested time, money, and effort into them uh, to help grow them as a teacher so that we can benefit from that subject matter expert, um, that industry professional, and, and really put the right people in the classroom so that our students, when they leave Lubbock ISD, they're 100% career ready, uh, they're, they're hands up above um, other students that come out of other programs that don't have these kind of teachers in their classroom. I like to teach because I like sharing what I know with the students and sometimes you may hear people say that um, to teach something you really have to understand it because you have to present it in a variety of ways for different learners and I find that really rewarding when you see the light go off in the child's head and they're like, okay, I get it now. And it's really rewarding and there's nothing else like that. Even in industry, uh, as a nurse, um, in the unit I worked in, it depends on the units you work in, but in the unit I worked in, you wouldn't see that progression and getting better. You see the progress in the students learning, it, it really is rewarding and satisfying in a way that I never oh. found in industry. You know, these kids are willing to learn and the industry is really lacking right now and people wanting to work. You know, if we can teach these kids how to get out there and make a living, you know, for themselves and their families, that, that's a big deal. That means a lot.